Today's product is a Zenrog abs trainer. The first thing I see on the box is a man and a woman. It's also showing some of their muscle groups. You've got the obliques here. You've also got the abdominal muscles and that's just on the man, it's showing. And also on the woman, it's showing her bicep and tricep muscles what are highlighted. You've also got your chest, your traps, and the rest of the actual muscle groups. So it's highlighting the ones where you can work. There's also other ones it doesn't show, but I will get into that in a few minutes. So with this, the features of this product are, it has three of the EMS machines that can be recharged via the micro USB, what is just here. It's a three in one. So what you can do is you can charge all three of the ES, um, EMS machines at once. Personally, I find this extremely handy rather than having to charge one at a time. So it's got six modes and 10 intensities. So what I'll do is I'll just grab the manual now to show you. So on the actual manual, it does tell you everything about it. So you've got your power switch, what is just here. On the actual control itself, it's got the up and down for the intensity. And also the middle button is what mode you would like it in. So you do have to have a DC 5 volt charging type and a polymer lithium battery as well that goes inside the actual controller. So it tells you like the basic usage uh, for adjusting for the different intensities and also the power off. So it tells you also where to place the different parts of this. So the abs one can also go on the back as well. But these are for, um, like you've got the obliques. What? So these go on the obliques and also on your arms, legs and also on your bum as well. So it's just a, like a quick flick through. There is a different language. So it is in Germany or German, sorry. You've also got French, Italian, So I just turn the light on and I really have got to purchase a new one. You got also Spanish. And then it tells you the operation and maintenance manual of the hydrogel. And also the safety and usage attention as well. And it also tells you if there's any if there's a, is a fault with it. It tells you the probable causes and how to handle it if there is a fault. As I said, with the um, changing of the intensities and also the six modes, it can be changed for the individual. Personally, I do. Well, I basically I have been using this for just over a week now. I have had a go today, so this will be the coming up to the eighth day. So I normally have this on almost full setting when I want to work on the actual muscles themselves, and then I have it about mid range, so about five or six 
when I would like to help tone up and also lose weight on the other settings. So you can actually wear this under your clothing due to it's actually really lightweight and it's extremely thin. So if I just pick it up so I can show you, as you can see, there is actually barely anything to it. So with the actual clothing on, personally I would recommend a slightly tighter top or possibly if you do own a rash guard then or like a bicycle um, a cycling top that would probably be the best idea because I felt with loose clothing it did move a bit so I went for a slightly tighter top and from there there was no movement whatsoever of it I did notice you can do most things without it being in the way. Saying that, if you are doing hoovering on full setting, unfortunately like I did the other day, I bent slightly wrong and what happened was the actual ab training a bit come off and there's sort of like a little tiny sharp electric shock you get. It's not I'd say really painful but it's not exactly pleasant when it does go off so if it does do that just turn the machine off and then remove it very carefully because of the sticky pads that are underneath the actual hydrogel so as I said I've tried this out for about a week now uh, tried, I've have tried the different modes and also different levels, like the different intensities. The first few days into the actual testing, I do go to the gym not as often as I would prefer. I think some of us would like to go a bit more than we do. But that being said, it was an extremely hard on my muscles so when I did try these on the 15 minutes workout what equals about an hour in the gym I felt was really strong it was quite I'd say it was quite a hard workout it felt like the next day my abs were absolutely aching it felt like I had a good hour in the gym just training my ab muscles and the actual ones that you can use on your sides uh, or your chest and also on your biceps and triceps I did have these on as well so I tried them all out I tried them on different intensities and also different settings and for the first say three or four days my muscles did ache quite badly so I can't see that it's not basically I can't see that it's not working because my muscles have felt a lot more sore than they did when I go to the gym my I'd say that even though it's only been a week and I have been eating the right stuff and also doing some working out at home I have noticed a lot more that my muscles aren't as achy as they used to be and also I've noticed that there is a slight bit of weight loss around my stomach area where I have been using this and honestly that is that could also be due to the like the diet plan that I'm on, what I have set up myself. So I can't say for hundred percent it is this, but these will only really work if you have a good diet as well. 
and you also put in the time and effort into using these. I have been overusing them though. They say use them two to three times a day for 15 minute intervals. So for the first three days, I did use them four times in a day, once and one after the other. So I was aching a lot more than I should be, but I have put these through their paces, so you don't have to do that yourself. It does say in the manual, use it two to three times a day, but I wouldn't do that at full setting like I did unless you have trained your muscles a lot more than what I've done. I've tried everything on them and honestly they are absolutely brilliant. So if you do have these um, sorry these two on your biceps triceps or even your forearms I will say try to limit what you're going to be doing on the day that you want to use them so within that 15 minutes you're going to be using them try not to do too much because if you do knock it over I'll say level 3 you'll notice some quite some uh, so some quite strong contractions inside uh, in your muscles so your arms can look like this spasming if you do put it on a full setting I will advise just be careful who is around you and where you do where you are when you're doing it please do if you do use these really don't pick up anything what is hot drive any machinery or do anything what's gonna pick up anything what could be broken because with these when they were on I physically had a lot less control over my muscles because of how strong these are So, my rating of this is a 9 out of 10. I was planning on giving this a 10 out of 10 because all the stuff what it comes with, it does come with extra pads for your cells. It comes with the ability to charge all three at the same time. Personally, I'm not a big lover of the box. I think they should have more put the actual product on there rather than two people standing there. I can understand it shows you what you could possibly look like. But realistically, these aren't going to do this just on their own. You will still need to eat right you will still need to work out and use these as well. The manual is quite easy to use. It's very simple. I like the actual, the way the manual is printed. But the reason I won't give it a 10 out of 10, and the only reason is this. There is other companies who do do these and everything on them is fully chargeable. So uh, this actually costs £23 or £24 off Amazon at the moment. It's a little uh, a bit confusing on the price because I think at the moment there is a discount on it. I will put the link in the description as well. But apart from this battery issue, well, I would say it is an issue because unfortunately it's, they do last a long time, I'm not going to say they don't, but if you can make all of these 
fully rechargeable, they could have made this fully rechargeable as well. I um, I will have another one to compare this to. I have just put in a purchase for it, so it will be coming in the next few days. Um, tomorrow I will be receiving a new product, what I will be writing up a review for. Personally, I'm quite excited for this. It is actually a new drone. I'm not going to release much about it at the moment, but if you keep tuned and if you sub, um, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button, you will be informed of when I do the actual review. And also, I do have a Facebook page. It's called Dell's Product Reviews. If you go on there, Oh, sorry, uh, Dow's review channel. I will put a link in the description. Um, what it is, is unfortunately, I think I put the wrong name in on Facebook at the time. So I've got to wait a little bit longer and then I can actually change it to the name of my YouTube channel. It was an unfortunate mistake on my part. But once I can, I will rectify it so it is the same name as the YouTube channel. I would like to say thank you to everyone who has taken part in the two competitions I have just run. Had two winners at the moment. So I'd like to do a big shout out to JD Merchant for winning the HS. 160R Shadow. So a big congratulations to you and also to Tony Cunningham Senior. You have just won the HS210. I have a so I have contacted you. Um, so a big congratulations to you. I hope you will enjoy the drone as soon as I can get uh, the shipping details and send it to you. I did do a live video of the uh, drawing. I will have another one very soon. I'll say within the next month I probably will have a new competition running. I'm just trying to get the product sorted out and then once it is I will be then doing a review of it. And then I will post on my Facebook page so you can see what you've got a chance of winning. I will do an update just to let you know what the competition rules are. I won't make it complicated because I also want to make it fair. So within the next week, I will figure out exactly how I want the competition to run and then I will post details, okay? But a uh, big shout out to everyone who has liked and subscribed. Thank you so much for this like, opportunity to show some of the products I've brought. Some I have been given to test what is absolutely fantastic, so some of the products I will be giving away in different competitions. But thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care and goodbye.